What's up, family? What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, Saturday night. I figured I'd just get on Instagram for a little bit. With my charger. See how everybody's doing tonight. Figured I'd go live real quick before I call it a night. Definitely going to go live tomorrow on um, Facebook and YouTube. <laughs> um, talk about one of my one of the best um, musical artists slash um, entrepreneur, known as Mr. Nipsey Hussle. He was just very iconic and definitely before his time. And um, I'm going to go in deep, and hopefully, I hear from y'all out there. You know what I mean, family. Um, in regards to the, his contributions, because the main reason why I'm going to go over it, um, because you, for good or worse, you see what's happening with cryptocurrency. And I, I didn't even realize how he was talking about cryptocurrency back there in 2017, 18. Him even going to Europe and seeing the foundation of it all. Um, it's just very, very interesting. So I'm definitely going to get into that more so and I'm going to do a little bit more research and prepare a nice live session and hopefully my people will show up for it. You know, and we'll have a discussion and you give me your perspective on it because we definitely need more people like that. Um, it's unfortunate people, uh, he was taken out of this world back in 2019. Seems like it was yesterday. But, you know, we need less stupidity we need less basic people and we need more exceptional people. And we need the people that are, even if they're not exceptional, we need them to embrace the exceptional people, just like they embraced him. Um, like when I, when I come across somebody who um, is quote unquote considered a nerd, quote unquote considered, you know, not cool, you know, all that high school nonsense. I, I got I want to listen to them more so because I know I can lis- I learn a lot more from them. And I know that um, the ideas that they have not just come from their mind or their perspective and whatnot, but comes from life experience that they have all at the same time. So definitely want to hear from people like that. But because it's not, it's, you know... I, no one, no generation is perfect, but one thing I can say with sincerity is that uh, my millennial generation growing up, you know, that comes to the kind of music that I listen to, and I listen to everything. I listen to go-go music, I listen to rock music, I listen to rap, I listen to um, country music, I listen to everything growing up. And that's one reason why I'm glad I come from the DMV area, being able to be exposed to so many different cultures and whatnot, and exposed to... Uh, so many different lifestyles, you know, um, especially growing up around the military atmosphere, you know, I'm very, very appreciative of that. But I will say, with all sincerity, that, um, that, you know, it's, when I was coming up around a lot of people I was around, it, it was cool to be stupid, but then a lot of other people, it wasn't cool to be stupid. I'll give a great example. And this is my little rant for Saturday night, so I'm just going all in. Um, during my time frame growing up, you know, I had the No Limit Soldiers, I had the Cash Monies, I had the Wu Tang Clans, I had the Bone Thugs and Harmonies, I had the Dog Pounds, I had the West Side Connect Gang, uh, West, Side, uh, West Side Connection. So I had people coming from all over the, you know, the country. And back then, all the rappers didn't sound all the same. You know, I had the DMXs, I had the Locks. Had the Jay Z's, you know, the Beanie Seagulls, you know. So I had a nice mixture of people and whatnot growing up during that time frame. So it was a it was a big mixture, you know. You had the Saint Lunatics, you had the D12s, you had the M and M's. Like I said, you had people from the Midwest, the West Coast, the East, the South, and there was a difference. You could tell the difference back then. Um, but one thing was clear: ownership. And being intelligent was on the to-do list during that time frame. Um, the one thing I appreciated going, growing up during you know the late '90s, early 2000s time frame 
Um, you know, I could listen to a most deaf. If you don't know who that is, look them up. I could listen to a Tyler Carly. Then I could listen to a Bone Thugs and Harmony. Then I could listen to a Wu Tang Clan. Then I could listen to a Far Side. I could listen to a Jurassic Five. I could listen to um, the Licks, the Exhibits. I could listen to Master P. I could listen to UGK. I could listen to um, Outkast. Um, you know, I could listen to Petey Pablo. I could listen to Beanie Siegel. I could listen to State Property. I could listen to, um, you know, the Diplomats. I could li- listen to all those different groups that I've just mentioned. And there was all different perspectives. But one thing was clear. It wasn't cool to be stupid at the time, you know. I could listen to a Common. I could listen to a Do or Die. I could listen to Twister. You know, I could listen to a Kanye West. I can listen to, I, and when you listen to those people, you got all different perspectives, totally different perspectives. And that's one thing I can say with sincerity. And that's the thing I enjoyed about growing up during that time frame, you know, the late nineties, early two thousands, you know, being a teenager during that time frame is that you were able to listen to different perspectives. You know, you had your Nas's, you had your M&M's, you had your... Chino XLs, you had your Tech Nines, you know, you had your, um, all these different um, groups, you know. But there was a lot of different perspectives, you know, J.O. Felonies, Cool G Rap, you know, um, KRS-One. You had all those different perspectives. Nelly, you know, Chingy. Like I said, the list goes on and on and on, but there were different perspectives. And, and for me, I respected that. And the reason why I'm talking about that is, you know, we live in a time frame where everybody wants to choose sides and whatnot, and you don't want people to, um, people don't want to um, be able to say, well, hey, I respect that your opinion, you're coming at it from a different place. We might disagree, but we can agree to disagree and move forward. Because one thing I can say, just observing, you know, um, business people, don't mind agreeing to disagree, but then they figure out some sort of a common ground and they learn to respect each other because they know that they have an end goal in mind at the end of the day. So that's why there's some respect at the end of the day. And um, a lot of, you you notice this with a lot of um, music artists. Um, Great example, I was just watching the Godcast with Lord Jamal and Warren G and You know, the way that they were talking to each other, they were like the best of friends and whatnot. You know, they come from the same era, but, you know, one's from New York City, the other one's from Los Angeles, Long Beach to be specific and whatnot. And one thing that Warren G said, he was like, you know, when I was coming up outside of Tupac and Biggie, you know, rappers weren't killing each other. He said, when I was coming up, you know, I didn't mind being different from other people. I didn't mind getting different perspectives. He's like, when I went to New York City, Warren G said, he's like, hey, um, LL Cool J picked me up and drove me around Queens and showed me what it was in New York City and whatnot. He said, I wanted to go to the Bronx and see where Karis One came from. So he wanted to think outside of the box. He wanted to be around people that thought differently from him. And you can't grow if you're not around people that are not, that are that think that don't think differently from you. I don't care where you, where you come from. I don't care what country you come from, city, state. I don't care what your religious beliefs are. You can't grow if you're always around the same kind of people that are not willing to think differently and think outside the box. I mean, you think Elon Musk or Bill Gates or Steve Jobs or Russell Simmons or Damon Johns, Mark Cuban, I can go on and on, would be who they are or who they were if they were always around people that thought the same. That's just something to think about. You know, it's like, throw all the nonsense aside that what the media talks about in regards to, you know, as I like to call stalling tactics or tactics that do a great job of keeping people separated and whatnot. Throw it all out the window. I'm talking about just reality and the facts. Um, Would these people still be who they are today if they would have thought, stuck around people that think a a specific kind of way or whatnot? I mean, if Elon Musk would have never left South Africa, would he be the man that he is today? If Russell Simmons would have just stayed in Queens and not think outside of the box, would he be who he is today? Damn Johns. Same thing. If Mark Cuban would have never went to um, Dallas, leaving Pittsburgh, would he be who he is today? That's really the point at the end of the day, what I'm really getting at. You know, a lot of people join the military so they can get away from their environment, serve their country, do a great job of doing that, and be able to 
you know, grow and be the best person that they can be, whether it's in the service of country or just or in the service of themselves or both. You know what I mean? But a lot of people grow from those different experiences being put in different environments, you know? So, I mean, I'll even go keeping it with today's people. Uh, Cardi B, I'm not the biggest fan of her, but she's a smart businesswoman now. So I'm going to give credit where credit is due. If Cardi B was just hanging out in the hood back in the South Bronx, would she be who she is today? Fat Joe that came from the South Bronx, would he be who he is today? Jennifer Lopez, would she be who she is today? It's about moving around and being around different kinds of people. I'm just saying. You know, and thinking outside of the box, not being scared to do something different and whatnot. Not, we're, we're not meant to go the path that our parents went, you know. Because if everybody did that, then everybody would be the same and that the world is not meant for us to be like that. You know what I mean? So that's all I can say. It's, it's a, this is this basically tonight. This rant is just about people not wanting to think outside of the box. People don't want to stay in their comfort zone, you know, and, you know, being able to grow up in a time where people th- not only thought differently, but it was cool to stand out instead of just trying to be like everybody else. And you see, I see that with a lot of younger people. So I give that a lot of credit, give them a lot of credit. A lot of them want to stand out. A lot of them have their own sense of individuality. And I, and I really appreciate that, you know, because that's what it's all about. I myself was always a person that doesn't mind dressing different from everybody else. You know, I'm not going to wear the tight shirts and the tight jeans. That's not happening. Um, you know, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going old school with the super baggy uh, t-shirts or, or jeans or anything of that nature, but I'm not wearing tight t-shirts and tight tights, uh, pants. That's not happening. So, um, but that's my individuality. What's your individuality? Let me know <laughs> if you know what I mean in the comment section, but that's at the end of the day, that's just what it is. You know, we're, we're all meant to stand out. We're all meant to be different. This whole notion of, you know, everybody has to dress a specific way. That's one thing I can respect about my generation, the millennial generation. We've kind of changed that. And the younger, the, you know, Generation Z coming up behind me, we've changed that trajectory. I think wearing a shirt and ties is going to be, become a thing of the past. I think, um, you know, having, quote, unquote, regular hairdos is going to become a thing of the past. You know, um, more and more people are, you know, having the multicolor hairdos or lopsided hairdos or whatever have you. That's becoming the new norm. Nothing wrong with that at all. But this whole notion of uh, being basic, it's got to stop. You know, a lot of uh, reprogramming is going to continuously take place. A lot of unlearning behavior is going to continuously take place in today's world. And I'm, hey, like I said, I'm excited about it, you know, to be honest with you. We're going into March, the third month of 2021, and, you know, even though it seems like there's a lot of stagnation going on for a lot of people, the ball is just starting to roll. And hopefully you are in that category. Hopefully you want to be in that, put in that category. You know what I mean? But it's interesting times that we're living in. I leave it at that. So on that note, family, I'm going to call it a night. Do the great three free things. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. And as always, make money moves or live broke like a fool. <laughs> Take care, family.